We're here in Racine, Wisconsin. Uh, this is the house that Kathy was raised in, and uh, she spent her childhood in, is right behind us. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But uh, she was raised there. We told you in another video that she was born in Milwaukee, that was accurate. But she came to Racine at a fairly early age, like around five or six and her family moved here to Racine and uh, she was raised in this house that's right behind us here and we're gonna go take a look at that and we did notice a for sale sign in front of it uh, wow. so we're gonna take a little bit of look at that and I'll tell you a little bit more about the house but what happened is w Kathy was raised here and then she ended up buying the house from her mother when her mother went down to Florida wow. so she Kathy owned this house uh, before we were, I had even met Kathy, and uh, this is the first house that I ever knew her in, and she lived here, and uh, on our first date, I knocked on the front door. And Tom, you may remember that uh, her brother answered the door, who lived in North Carolina at the time, and, um, and that caught me kind of by surprise. But then he identified himself by, as his, her brother and, uh, you know, a big sigh of relief because I thought she had lived there by herself and she did. But it's right behind us over here. And this is the house Kathy was raised in. It's a five bedroom. It's a big, beautiful house. And we did not know it was for sale again. We're going to take a look online when we get home again uh, but we lived here well she lived here she bought like I said she bought the house from um, my mother-in-law when she retired and she lived here for in her entire childhood got a barking dog and uh, when so then when I first started going out with her, I had lived in an apartment. So when we ended up getting married and getting together, uh, we lived here for our first five years of our marriage. In fact, our first son was born here. 1427 Park Avenue. When the house was sold, when we sold the house, all of Kathy's five other siblings came to town and we spent the Thanksgiving weekend and we sold a house. If you look at it here, there's 22 windows on each floor. Wow. It, you know, it was a big, beautiful house with old architecture and, and whatnot. The original gas lamps were still there. They converted them to electricity over the years. It was also a money pet. And we got to the point where if we were to replace each of the 22 windows on each floor, those that are up on the dormers, and it looks like they may have been done since, since we sold it. Yes. <laughs> because it's been 30 years. Uh, yay, yay. And there's been some nice updates to it. But it actually looks, looks very nice. What do you think, Kathy? Yeah. This was the house you were raised in. Yes. There. And it was your first house that you owned. <laughs> yes. You, you came with it when I first met you. I know. I didn't know any anything about it. Yeah. But we're reminding you. <laughs> now, if this runs as normal, only about 20% of you are still watching. That's why I waited until now to say this. Kathy has Alzheimer's disease, and it is progressing. We're not looking for sympathy. In fact, we are hoping you won't even comment on it. That's not what we want this channel to be about. We just wanted to explain a little bit to our closest friends here. Kathy is still the same beautiful woman I met so long ago. I love her just as much. And we're going to keep on traveling for the foreseeable future. In fact, we're leaving again next week. So... So we hope you won't mention this in the comments. Now let's get back to exploring Racine. Now right around the corner and just a few blocks down from the house Kathy grew up in is an architectural landmark.
This is SC Johnson's World Headquarters. It was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. And it's considered one of the 25 most influential pieces of architecture in the United States. This building right here was not here originally, so this building is not Frank Lloyd Wright, but it is designed in the Frank Lloyd Wright architectural style. But this is their world headquarters. It's in Racine, Wisconsin. And I just showed you the house that Kathy was raised in and where we lived for the first five, six years that we were together. And uh, this was right over here. And Sam Johnson was very concerned about the neighborhood. And all our community meetings were held right over here in the Golden Rondell Theater. The Golden Rondell Theater is another stunning piece of architecture. It was built in the 60s and was designed by Tallyspin architectural firm which was the which was Fred, Frank Lloyd Wright's architectural firm after he died. But you can see it's designed in a circular uh, way. The theater inside is a cir is a, is circular seating, and uh, it was a great place to have our community get-togethers. Sam Johnson was very concerned about the neighborhood, and he did everything he could to beautify the area, building additional buildings that were built after the Frank Lloyd Wright time that were production facilities but are no longer used as production facilities. Uh, Johnson Wax produces their, their goods in the, in the suburbs here in Racine. So they still have their factory here in Racine, a couple of them, that are humongous. You probably have Johnson Wax products in your home today. And uh, they just are using this for their world headquarters. So just office buildings here now and it's still a beautiful campus. Racine has changed since we lived here. Yes, sure is. But there's a lot of changes for the better. Yeah. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave us a comment down below. Hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel. Next week we'll continue exploring Racine, Wisconsin, and we'll find out that Europe isn't the only place that has some great street art.